Is Stash Week still considered a startup? I would say we've grown past the startup stage. We are a fintech company and we are a digital company. We use um, a lot of automation in all parts of our business, but the business is really um, more than three years old now and we're very established in mature markets like Singapore where we manage a lot of people's money. So in Singapore and Malaysia, we have over 100,000 100, users. And imagine just putting all these people in a stadium, right? 100, over 100,000 people have trusted us with their money. And I think that's a huge responsibility. And we've grown, go, grown past the stage where we're really testing out the product. We really have a product that has yielded amazing returns. A lot of people are using it. And we are in different markets like Malaysia and Singapore. And we're gonna expand in the region. Perfect. And this, I guess, follow up to that question then. Mm -hmm. uh, so this question was how sustainable or, pro is, or profitable is Stashaway as a business? Yeah. I guess their main concern is just, you know, is Stashaway going to be here for me in the future? Yeah. So us being a fintech company, we are taking venture capital money at this stage. We have raised um, about 50 million ringgit or $12 million in our last round of funding and we have many sophisticated investors backing us. So the uh, our main investor we have on board is Eight Roads, which is Fidelity International's venture capital arm. Mm -hmm. They have put their faith and their dollars in us by funding, um, funding us at Series B. So we think that we need to raise more money in the, in, in the medium term, but for us to be truly profitable, we need to reach a certain scale, a certain amount of AUM, which ultimately we are able Sorry, to... Sorry, for those people who don't know AUM is... Assets just... under management. Okay, there we go. We need, to reach, we need to reach a certain amount of assets under management to then be sustainable for to meet your long-term goals. Okay. So we are well on our path to becoming profitable at some stage, and our business model is very, very low cost. So we keep things automated, we try and keep costs low for the investor, and once we reach a certain scale, we'll be able to sustain ourselves. Thanks so much, Ken, for uh, yeah. participating and helping us understand the basics of investing, what people should be doing, and how Stashway can play a role in their investment journey. Yeah. And for the people who are watching right now, thank you so much. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment uh, down below, and we will try to answer that for you as soon as possible. Otherwise, check out the other videos that we have uh, with Ken here. We have a bunch of other questions that we have uh, recorded and helped and hopefully it will help you in some way, shape, or form. And if you're ready to take um, the next step in joining Stashaway, uh, just feel free to use one of the links uh, below in the descriptions because you'll get some bonuses that you can't find anywhere else. All right, thanks a lot.